In the previous video, we have learnt that expressions in which variables, numbers and symbols of different operations are used are called algebraic expressions. Now come let's find solutions to examples based on them. Identify which of the following are algebraic expressions and explain how they have been formed. Look at these expressions carefully. We can see the use of variables in them. Look at these expressions carefully. These are called algebraic expressions. If we look at them carefully, we see that these expressions have fixed numbers and there is no variable. Hence, these expressions are not algebraic expressions. Let's understand how algebraic expressions are formed. Z plus 4 is formed by adding 4 to the variable z. 7r minus 9 is formed by multiplying variable r by 7 and then subtracting 9 from the product. y by 3 plus 2 is formed by dividing y by 3 and then adding 2 to the quotient. minus 3x plus 8 is formed by multiplying variable x by minus 3 and then adding 8 to the product. There are n suites in each box shown on the screen. If three suites from each box are distributed, then write an algebraic expression for the total number of suites. Find the total number of suites when n is equal to 4. There are five boxes each containing n suites. If three suites from each box are distributed, then the remaining number of suites in each box will be n minus 3. So, the total number of suites in 5 boxes will be 5 into n minus 3. If we multiply 5 with each number in the bracket, we will get 5 into n minus 5 into 3, which is equal to 5n minus 15. It is the algebraic expression for the total number of suites in the boxes. Now let's find a solution to another question. Here, the value of n is given as 4. If the value of a variable is given, then while substituting this number in the expression, we must multiply it with the number before the variable. Therefore, 4 will be multiplied by 5. The product is 20 and 20 minus 15 will be 5. Hence, when n is equal to 4, then the number of remaining suites will be 5. Next example. Vikas is twice as old as Dinesh, but Madhu is five years younger than Vikas. Considering the age of Dinesh as x, write an algebraic expression for Madhu's age. Is it possible to find the value of this expression? It is very important to understand the given information for converting a statement into an expression. Here, Vikas is older because his age is twice the age of Dinesh and Madhu is five years younger to him. If we consider the age of Dinesh as variable x, then the age of Vikas can be written as 2x. Now Madhu is five years younger than Vikas. So, can you tell the expression for Madhu's age? Pause the video and try to solve it. For Madhu's age, we can write the expression as 2x minus 5. In this way, we have written an expression for Madhu's age. The value of these algebraic expressions cannot be determined as the values of the variables are not fixed. From these examples, we learnt how to identify the expression and find out how they are formed. In addition to do this, we have also learnt to form an expression with the given information. In the next video, we will learn some misconceptions about expressions. Thank <laughs> you.